Hello and welcome to my world, my coin hunt world that is. Sorry for yesterday's absence. It was a relaxing day. I had to throw together my Dungeons Dragons game. I still walked, but I had nothing to talk about, so I didn't make a talk. I was thinking about Dungeons Dragons the whole walk. Like, and yeah, it ended up being a good day. But now, on to coin hunt news. After we get this key. What? Alright. So I found some information out about... QB anniversary. All right, so this is the second part. Let's go and we'll read it from the beginning. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a blimp. QB Air is making its maiden voyage around the globe and will be making a stop near you. Coin Hunt is celebrating its second anniversary and that means it's time for hunters to prepare to take the skies to participate in a very special two-part QB Air event. Part one begins September 7th and will run for seven days. During the first leg of the journey, hunters will encounter QB Air Event Quest Chain, random event resource drops from vaults. That means there will be no crypto given out in blue vaults, whether it's a user vault or a game of vault. You're only going to be getting uh, resources for the event. New common blueprint to print off Marshall QB named Zach. New rare infinite use randomizer blueprint to print the flight attendant QBs. Nathan or N Nathalie. I, I'm saying the name wrong. I butcher names all the time, so they're on the screen. New epic infinite use randomizer blueprint to print a pilot QB named George and Laura. Hunters can expect a brief layover. While we wait for QB Air Part 2, the Trivia Gauntlet. Date to be confirmed. Alright, so now we got Event Part 2. Alright, so. Once the blimp has been fully inflated, the shop will begin selling QB Air boarding passes. At the cost of one red key, which will be used to make an attempt at the gauntlet. Note, you'll also be able to earn a free boarding pass by progressing far enough into the quest chain during part one. So that's nice. Everyone will have access to QB Blimp, Air Blimp for the duration of part two. You'll find it hovering around your headquarters. Each gauntlet run will be scored based on speed and accuracy and a crypto prize rewarded based on the best answer for that run. Each player's best run also will place them on a leaderboard where the top 500 win a new epic Wombat QB blueprint. And the single highest score will win one and only one legendary Ace QB blueprint. Happy hunting and bon voyage. All right, so yeah, let's just look at all that. Let's go there, let's get out. Bum, bum. So, let's see, let's see. I have one red, but do I wanna use that one red? Do I, do I wanna keep storing up for, I know once I use that one red that I have, and I have enough, like I've been storing up my keys, and once I use that, it's going to be time. They're going to drop, like, a blueprint I would so badly want, like the sea turtle blueprint. And so I'm going to have to get a feel for the whole thing before I decide. Hopefully, hopefully I can get far enough walking past this one. Save that blue key, Jeremy. Uh, hopefully I can score enough in that I, I don't know I really want the blueprint the wombat blue blueprint that's gonna be I'm a biohead so if there's an animal one I want that blueprint so bad uh 
And it seems like these kind of blueprints aren't ones that need much else than color paint. Maybe one or two things, but not really much. Not anything crazy either. So a blueprint like that is going to be nice. Because there's only 500 of them. Like, if you can get one, good on you. So the way it's been looking like the uh, point system is going to be is that whatever. So, all right. I don't know if you have to use keys for every one of these questions you have to go through. But there are four blue tier questions you have to go through. Then after that, you go up to the next stage, which is three green tier questions you have to answer. Once again, I don't know if we have to, uh, if we have to uh, use keys to unlock these questions. Um, after that is two yellows questions, and then the final thing is one red tier question. It goes on speed, it said, and correctness, of course. Um, and it's just gonna, I guess at the end of it, the way you're only getting crypto from one of those things. Whichever one you do the best on is where your points and your crypto will be coming from. I don't know if the sun was in my face that whole talk as I walk. Uh, so, that's going to be interesting to see how the first person... That's what I'm understanding from what I read right there even. Is that you get one... Five, you can do it a hundred times. But only one of them counts towards the... The overall leaderboards for the wombat. Ah, uh, that's a nice one, little wombat, running around. I'm, I'm using the shark right now. We should actually put Mr. Miyagi back on. We're done hunting. It's time to relax and be our inner self. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, everybody. Till we talk again, get out there, collect that crypto. You know, how are you, how are you spending your keys right now? At this time before a new event, do you hold on to keys in case you need a lot more keys during the event? Like I said, there was a thousand run in the one event we had in order to fully finish it. So I'm not going to say it's not going to be the same. I'm not going to say it is going to be the same. But what I am going to say is, always, always, look both ways when crossing the street. Don't get run over by a car. Always look both ways when crossing the street. Until we talk again, hunt on, collect that crypto, and enjoy.